Hello and welcome to this SASView tutorial on the beta approximation feature currently in development for the SASView 5 release. Now the beta approximation is a technique developed uh, published originally in 1983 by Kotlarczyk and Chen whereby in polydispersed systems the modeling of interactions is improved by altering the structure factor which is used in the calculation. Uh, oscillations in this structure factor are damped down to a more realistic level and this is a very uh, it's a feature which has been aw long awaited in SASView so uh, we're finally starting to debut it and in this short demonstration I'll simply be showing how to switch it on and how to see the effect that it has on your model so what I've got here is I have some simulated ellipsoidal data. I've already set up uh, I've already set up all the parameters so that our model fits it realistically including over here we have uh, 0.1 10% dispersity in the polar radius of the particles. So this is a polydispersed system. Now Right now, we don't have the beta approximation turned on. But this parameter here, called structure factor mode, is what you use to turn it on. And it has two options, p times s, which simply means that the form factor ellipsoid here is multiplied by the structure factor, which is hard sphere here, with no alteration. In the second option, you can see that instead of multiplying p by s, s is replaced by this curve 1 plus beta times brackets s minus 1. Now this uh, this is lifted directly from the pay from the Kotlarczyk and Chen paper and the where you can find the uh, the details about calculating this beta factor itself. But what I'm interested in here is the effect that this has. Um, firstly Selecting the selecting this option in the structure factor mode noticeably changes the shape of the graph, the shape of our model plot here. But what might not be so obvious is how the structure factor has been altered. So what you can do is you can click the little arrow by your data here and you see a list of plots. You've got your data, you've got your residuals, you've got your intensity distribution here, and then beneath that we have a list of what we call intermediate results. Uh, these are calculations that have been brought forward so the user can see them even though they don't get shown in the final result. So we have P of Q, which is the form factor, we have S of Q, the structure factor, and then beneath those we have beta of q which is this beta variable and s effective of q where s effective of q is equal to 1 plus beta times s minus 1. Now what you can do is you can view all of these you can select any number of these and either append these to an existing graph or create a new graph. Now if we create a new graph it's all a bit messy but what you can see is of the blue here is our is our p of q which is unaffected by the beta approximation but you can see a clear difference here between s of q and s effective of q where s of q is the orange and s effective of q is the red what i'm going to do is bring these into their own plot There we go. As you can see, the uh, the main effect is that the oscillations have been noticeably dampened here. So this will have a noticeable effect on the fitting of parameters. And in polydispersed systems, this means you can very easily compare what 
uh, what fit you will get with or without the beta approximation turned on. So what I can also do is show off the beta of Q. The beta of Q plot, I'll append this to the same chart and it comes up in green. And so what you can see is in in resonance, shall we say, with the with the oscillations in S of Q, you have these you have these peaks. And what these peaks will do is they will dampen the oscillations. And that is the that is the feature basically. The other thing you can do if you don't want to play with if you want to play with the model without any data is if I if I just select all of these and delete them and go into the theory tab, I can in a fit page with no data loaded, I can just I can just load up my models like this. And I'll close these graphs and use my own. But you'll see that the the same intermediate results come up here. So what I can do is I can select S of Q and S effective of Q, create a new graph, and I can view them here. I'll just increase the number of points on this. And this makes experimentation very easy because you can, for example, I can turn on the polydispersity. I can go straight into here and add my own dispersity. And press calculate and you can see the, that the curve has slightly moved.